What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Caleb and today I bought a Corvette Z06. This isn't the actual purchase video. If you want to see the first video I made with this Corvette, you can check the link below and browse the channel. I just recently purchased this and today I wanted to talk about my first impressions of my Corvette Z06. Some of the first things that I noticed, some of the first things that I uh, really like about the vehicle and uh, just give you as much possible information I can about what it's like to drive this beautiful, beautiful car. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit like and comment. Let's get rolling on the video. So to start off, I'm going to start with the interior because that's where we're currently located. Um, the interior is one of the most bashed things about this car online, but honestly, I don't think it looks that bad at all. Yes, it's a Corvette and it's kind of a luxury vehicle. It's, in my opinion, more of a sports car than a luxury car. If you want a nice interior, then I mean this might not be the best option for you, but it's still, it's a fine interior. I used to drive a, well, I still do drive, but um, this is going to replace my Mustang. I have a 2005 Mustang that I drive, and this is definitely a nicer interior than that. So it is an upgrade for me, but the interior is not that bad. A lot of people heckle it online, and yes, there's plastic in a lot of areas, but for the most part, there's leather on the steering wheel where you want it. The, the seats are very, very nice. They, uh, they you very well very nice seats and uh, for the most part it's very minimalistic in the interior but that's not bad it still has a nice feel centered around the driver and uh this is a manual all z06s do come in a manual the uh this is a 2006 that is and it's it's positioned nicely you, you can like sit it's really it's really tailored towards the driver so i really do like that the uh dash right in front of you is very beautiful it looks it looks I'd say a little bit better than the rest of the interior, but it's definitely a nice looking dash, especially accompanied by that uh, heads up display. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I mean, even the doors and uh, the Bose sound system that accompanies them, it's not that bad as people make it out to be. So now it's time to drive my Z06 and uh, listen to the most fun part about starting up this car. So like I said, I just purchased this car today. So this is gonna be first impressions based off of about 60, 70 miles of driving the car. Um, I definitely drove this a lot today and I will continue to drive it a lot today. But um, yeah, so just kind of take that into account. That's where I'm at. Um, so a couple, couple facts about this car. This is a 2006 Z06. This is the lightest Corvette ever made. Some of that has to do with all of the carbon fiber and um, uh, both the front fenders, rear fenders. This one it does also have an aftermarket carbon fiber spoiler. That is, to my knowledge, the only, and to the dealership's knowledge, which I bought it from, uh, only aftermarket part on this vehicle. So that's um, that's pretty cool that it's a stock Z06 that uh, I get to kind of start from ground zero when building and doing things to this car. I definitely do want to build it. It needs it needs to be louder. Um, Fun fact though about the exhaust on this car, this has what's called butterfly valves. So at between 3,500 to uh, 4,000 RPMs, the valves will open up so that the car is louder. So that's pretty cool. This car is accompanied by a 7.0 liter LS7. And let me tell you, the LS7 is absolutely no slouch. I have torque anywhere I want. In, like and it's consistent too. It's very 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 consistent torque I guess that's one of the beauties of a naturally aspirated motor, but still it's really cool how it's on Always torque at any point whenever you want it um, This car does have it just flashed on my uh, dash that kind of reminded me um, This car does have a uh, first to fourth shift So if you're around just under two grand and you're kind of easing into your uh, takeoff It will automatically bring you into fourth gear assuming that you want to one save gas and that you're just trying to cruise. Moving along to the back of the vehicle, by far my favorite profile of the car, the fenders, the rear spoiler, and the, the tinted taillights all accompanied with the blue, the beautiful Le Mans blue on this car. It is just the rear end by, by far my favorite. Speaking of the rear end on this vehicle, um, you kind of have, when, when having a Corvette, you kind of have the luxury of a technically like a hatchback because you have you know that top that opens up and there's actually a lot of room to store things back there a lot more than you would think when you're driving a corvette i have um you know just my jacket back there now obviously i'm not using nearly as much as i could use you have netting back there for more storage as well and it's definitely enough to fit i would 
say two medium sized suitcases, um, maybe or, or maybe like a pair of golf clubs or something like that. So it's not like totally useless back there. Now driving right now, I see my heads up display. Uh, this is the first time I've ever owned a vehicle with a heads up display, so that's kind of cool. And it's definitely weird getting used to that, but I'm noticing myself more and more uh, utilizing it. And it's very nice to check your speed while having to not look at anything besides the road. So that's like really, really cool. Um, that's right there in front of you. It doesn't distract you or anything like that. I fell in love with this car when I did a review and a video on it about a month and a half ago. I've always wanted a Corvette and driving my first Z06 really uh, inspired me to make this purchase. I always wanted a Corvette, but it really helped me to uh, make that decision to go uh, over and above the base model and get the Z06 for many, many, many reasons. The C6 Z06 is one of the most, uh, in my opinion, loved cars online. This, uh, it's one of those things where you either know what it is or you don't. I'll have some people that like, I'm even starting to notice at like a gas station or something like that. Um, if you know what it is, you're freaking out. And if you don't, you're like, oh, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a vet, you know, it's just a C6 Corvette, which is, I mean, this is a 2006, so this thing is 14 years old. So it's not like, it doesn't seem like it's anything special, but if you know what it is, it's something special. So my impressions for now on the manual transmission in this car, the gears are extremely long, very, very nice that you're not gonna have to keep, that you don't have to keep worrying about each shift or whatever. And, um, you know, you can really use the entire gear. First gear goes up to 60. Uh, third will take you all the way to 120, I believe. And um, yeah, you, you have so much time in between shifts and that's really cool, especially accompanied by all that, uh, that, that torque you have constantly throughout the power band. The actual shifting itself, it's very notchy, it's nice. You're, you're, never, you're never gonna take this thing past fifth gear unless you're going like 80 or 90. Like there's no, there's no need for sixth gear after, or unless you're going like 60 plus. Clutch is nice and uh, springy and stiff. I drive right now a uh, Ford Focus that's a stick that um, is just my daily. That's what, that's the only other manual car that I own. And this is, I mean, completely parallel to that. Now, when I bought this car, obviously I bought it used and um, it's a 2006 and the tires are not the best. I don't know if these are the original tires, but uh, the car has 30,000 miles on it. So it is possible that these are the original tires, but they do not hook very well because they're just so worn down. I definitely need to get new tires. And uh, that's one of the first things I need to do. And also it's about 40, it's right now it is 48 degrees in Michigan. So uh, it's not the warmest day. So these tires are definitely not that sticky. Another thing too about this vehicle is that on the interior, this center console thing you have here that opens to the side, there's not a whole lot of room in here. I mean, enough for uh, your phone, wallet, keys, and uh, maybe a couple pieces of paper. But um, whatever you put in there is going to get hot. Like I noticed that really soon, probably because the transmission's right over here. But like your stuff in there will get hot because it's so close. Like my phone is like hot when I pull it out. Uh, yeah, so just something a little torque about the, the vehicle. I will spin all the way through first. Uh, I will spin in second, if depending on how hard I hit it. So lately, I've just been kind of rolling into it to kind of get used to the power. I don't want to ram myself around a tree anytime soon. So that's gonna be all for this video guys i really appreciate you checking this out let me know what you think about the vehicle and uh if there's something i missed or you have any questions please feel free to let me know i would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button i will love you to the end of the world if you do like comment i'll make sure to hit you back i love you all and have a great great day Bye.